Dear Armenians, now our ASCA speaker today is an Armenian American community leader and a political activist. Please welcome ASCA National Chairman Rafi Hamparian. Loyal sons, loyal sons and daughters of the Armenian nation. Loyal patriots of what will be in the near future a free Artsakh. We come together here today with love in our hearts, with determination in our minds with clarity in our eyes, with a hunger for justice, and strength in our very bones. Love in our hearts, determination in our minds, clarity in our eyes, a hunger for justice, and strength in our very bones. We here today represent a moral force, a moral force for good that seeks to honor those whose graves we have not seen. The five-year-old girl whose bones remain today in Derzor. The 15-year-old girl who crossing the river Euphrates couldn't hold on to her brother's hand anymore. And her body remains to this day at the bottom of that river. The dead hided Bond who was burned to death for his faith. We hear our resolve in their name. How could it be, against all odds, that we still believe in justice? We believe in that justice down to our very core because you and I know what is right and we know what is wrong. And we are here today to send a message, not by email, not by messenger, not by FedEx, not by the U.S. Postal Service. But with our feet, with our voices, with our strength, and that message is clear, they tried to destroy us, and they have failed. They said they would kill our culture, and they have failed. So today, we represent a real and clear moral force. A force for recognition that was achieved this morning. A force for reparations that will be achieved in the future. A force for restitution. A force for a stronger Arnia. A force for a free and independent Artsakh. Justice will arrive to our nation. Justice will arrive to our nation as sure as the sun will rise tomorrow. There is now recognition and there will be reparations and restitution. And you might ask, how do I know this? How do I know this? I know this because I understand the Armenian DNA our spectacular faith, our sometimes mind-numbing stubbornness, our intense willingness to give and to give again for our nation, for our people, for our language, for our cause. Krimian Heidegg once wrote, 
of our time, Ami Gonyan, and of the freedom of the fatherland, and of the freedom of the fatherland, you did not spare yourself. You perished, and Armenia arose. And of the freedom of the fatherland, you did not spare yourself. You perished, and Armenia arose. Our martyrs in 1915, they perished. And from those ashes, it is you, my friends. Cuider, yet yes by then. It is you from those ashes. It is you who arose. So we all, each of us today, Tomorrow, next month, next year, we have a role to play, and that role is to be a hero for the Armenian cause. Let me close with three thoughts. Number one, I quote from the scripture, Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. Those of you before me today have sown the seeds of justice for the Armenian cause. Some of you for half a century. Some of you for decades. Some of you, the young amongst us, for years. We believe in that. We will reap what we sow. And today, we had a harvest. A bitter harvest, but a harvest all the same. Number one. Number two, the Genocide Convention is not just called the Genocide Convention. It is called the Genocide Convention on the prevention of genocide, but also the punishment of those who commit it. Not just the prevention. The punishment. And let me conclude by reminding the Republic of Turkey and the Republic of Azerbaijan one simple message that as we move on to the next phase of the Armenian cause, having achieved recognition, we, we move on to reparations and restitution. And let there, let there be no mistake, let not one euphemism be used, let me be very clear, we will not bend, we will not break, we will not bow in our drive for justice, justice!